before the pipes and drums blare down the festive avenue. Queen of a new land. Hundreds of worshipers gather on this feast day at the Manhattan Cathedral that bears the name of the patron saint. It's a wonderful day for the Irish and for everybody. St. Patrick really was the apostle to the Irish and he uh, instilled in them a firm faith that continues till today. That strong faith is on full display through prayer and hymns of praise. Bishop Barris describes how Catholics are called to be like the 5th century saint. To be a daughter or son of St. Patrick is to be a vibrant missionary disciple who radiates the faith uh, of Jesus Christ at every turn and at every moment of daily life. And following Mass, it was a sea of green along Fifth Avenue as tens of thousands of people gathered to celebrate their heritage. Despite the frigid temperatures, Cardinal Dolan says the annual event falls during an appropriate time of year. We're between winter and spring. The darkness, the death, the dreariness of winter and spring with its life and light coming, uh, coming around. And that's sort of what the people of Ireland have gone through. They've had their share of winter, but they've never lost a sense of hope in spring. Hand and flag wavers of all ages crowd the street to take in the festivities, some of whom are attending the parade for the first time. It's been my dream to end up here for St. Pat's Day, and it's took me 65 years to get here. I think it's really noisy, <laughs> but it's very good. And that vibrant noise of proud heritage and faith will continue throughout the month-long celebration in the Brooklyn Diocese. Reporting for Currents from Midtown Manhattan, I'm Tim Harfman.